How is everyone today? All good. So today, again, uh, we'll, we'll have the regular fight nights later after the updates. But um, I just want to give you guys some heads up regarding uh, bad days as well. I know some of you guys were expecting it to land on BSC, which is our original plan. Uh, however, uh, we had to go back and forth with the guys from Binance and our partner to make sure that the customer experience was smooth and that it was as close as possible to uh, what we intended the sale to look like. And after a couple of weeks, or sorry, a couple of months of discussion, uh, we've decided to go uh, to uh, Atomic Hub instead. Uh, that just means that you get to use the bad days cogs immediately when you get them. Um, and the guys from Marvelous NFTs are throwing in a golden ticket that allows you to actually uh, redeem for a special character within their game. So I expect a lot of people from their community to come in and participate in the sale as well, not just the guys from the cost community. Um, we are doing a 24-hour sale window to accommodate uh, everyone from around the world purchase this one time off. So it will not be sold again, just the primary window will be just 24 hours and it's done. Uh, but yeah, the, there will be two SKUs. One is the pack and one is the box. The box has um, three toppers and 10 packs. Is that correct, Phil? Yep. Yeah. And there'll be three toppers as well. So uh, all the details have been released on social media and on our blog today. So please take a look. Uh, second update is for uh, the app, primarily Slam. The game is, is going through uh, polish and feature edition as we go week by week. So right now, uh, we have about 700 people who got invited into the beta. And then next week, we're going to add another 500. So next week or this weekend, we intend to release a build that includes the arena as well. So arena is one of the first versions of play to earn where you actually use whatever you got from your daily quests. Um, can decide to basically cash it out or use it into the arenas where you get a stand, uh, stand a chance as you beat more and more people in the arena, stand to get better uh, prizes and uh, better rewards. So uh, the version of uh, the new uh, game mode after arena will be tournaments. And tournaments is when you actually have to have tubes that uh, uh, the requirement for entering the tournament levels, right? So we mentioned before, it is bronze, silver, gold, diamond, uh, common, uncommon, rare, uh, ultra rare. And we will clarify clearly what are the access levels for all the tubes uh, for you to be able to strategize on what you guys want to do with them once they start uh, becoming a requirement for enter the tournaments where the prizes are significantly higher than arena. And you will you will be uh, given a lot of options to enter. You know you could have uh, a common and uncommon tube as well. You can enter the tournament. Uh, you can rent them out. Uh, the me mechanics for rental and allowing people to use will we will uh, clarify clearly. But uh, it's it's pretty much the same kind of uh, experience you would expect when somebody requires you to tube something for excess level. You might be given a token or a ticket or something like that, which you can use to sell or uh, basically use to enter the tournament yourselves. Uh, more information about that later next week or the week after. Right now, our focus is making sure that the game is uh, stable. All the scenes are polished. Uh, the next version, like I said, we have Arena. We're also working on Marketplace as well for us to be able to demo uh, actual cogs in the game so that's coming up pretty soon this time around i think the reason why we're adding more and more people is we're also testing scalability as well of the the service and the game but so far no problem uh for a few hundred people to play what i want to do is stress test the server with thousands of players then we can see uh the net effect of the whole community playing all the different modes and uh, participating in play to earn Cool. Do you guys have any questions? Let me see. Well, the uh, we rental... corrected that urban gecko. Uh, we changed it to twenty four hours already. Uh, somebody was saying something. 
uh, will the rental uh, be implemented through using uh, WAX or RFAX? Yeah, for all intents and purposes, we would always try to push it towards uh, RFOX because that, that is the currency that uh, people will be cashing out in and, and using to uh, enter uh, certain activities in the game. But we'll clarify uh, within the month itself what is the whole uh, ecosystem look like for a free to uh, somebody who is play to earn, somebody who's a, who's a collector, somebody who's a trader. Uh, all the different um, features of the game as well as play to earn will be listed out on the website or in a post for you guys to review. I have a question. Uh, it sounds like the arena is going to be like open 24-7, you know, kind of a situation. Are the tournaments going to be timed? Are they going to be like daily or weekly or... Uh... Is it the harder they are, the longer they are, or the harder they are, the shorter they are? Well, uh, the whole tournament system, the, the, the root of it is obviously the stats and the tracker. What we're doing is, uh, we, Arena is, like I said, the first one where people can actually just continuously grind to see the number of times they can win before they lose three times in a row. Uh, whereas the tournament is, there are tournaments which last over a week. Uh, some tournaments will last over the whole season uh, and it's tracked versus uh, stats or uh, leaderboards. So the the first structure for uh, the tournaments, I think, will be a lot clearer maybe next month, first or second week of next month. But this month, we're focusing on Arena because we need to test uh, the first uh, the user experience for somebody coming in fresh. Uh, collecting rewards and then be able to participate in arenas by using whatever they they, they um, uh, collected from 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 play to earn and then use them to to go into arenas to stand a chance to win more prizes. Crypto Matrix. When we'll be able to start tubing for third edition fights? I think last Friday you entered maybe this week. Well, I believe. Um, the troops are already ready, right, Phil? Yeah, we're just uh, optimizing the uh, 3D assets. Yeah, uh, so I apologize for are, the delay, guys. The thing is, we uh, fine tuning a few things before we release them publicly or announce them publicly. But uh, we should be able to get you more news or announce it next week. Yes, Ramses, tubes. So the whole premise of the arena is how long you can go before you lose three in a row? Yeah, so yeah. it's similar to how Hearthstone does it, right? So you, you, you pay an entry fee and then you go keep playing, uh, compete against anybody else who's in the arena and then chalk out the number of wins. So when you win one, uh, let's say you win uh, one match against somebody and you lose three times in a row, then your price class, your 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 reward classification would be um, uh, the number of wins based on one 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 win, and then there's yeah. a bracket or what you get. What if you never lose asking for a me? Well, Chauncey, if you uh, never lose, then you keep going up, then the, the rewards start getting crazier as you go past a certain amount of wins. Well, you don't have to develop a winning streak technically, so you could win twice and then lose once, and then you play again, it's, and then you win that round, you consider three wins. You need to lose three times in a row. Uh, sorry, three times in total before you actually yeah, it, get it's booted not, out. Yeah, it's not in a row, correct. Yeah. Once you lose three times, then you're, you, you get paid out. That's it. We kick you out. We pay you and kick you out.
Let me see the question. For fight night, do I I play five people, right? And then the highest. Uh, we're going. No, to you, play, you play ten, ten matches, man. Ten matches. Okay, sure thing. Yeah. Ten matches. Uh, start this. You can't use your kit. Third. No child labor, Pete. But uh, XP and uh, Hanford, since you guys are previous winners, you're out. I think Chauncey, have you played against any of the bosses before? Cool. Yeah, yeah so beat my ass. <laughs> like I said, the two major uh. uh <clears throat> two major updates related to bad days and uh, the game. What is preventing Cork's prices from skyrocketing like assets did? Assets? Axes. Uh, well, it, right now, the community is small. KRGU. Harry, sorry. So the community is small and it's once the number of people come in for play to earn, then uh, those people are not coming in with any cogs at all. And if they want to participate in those activities where the prizes are bigger, they would have to be able, they would have to um, <coughs> source for uh, entry tickets or access uh, uh, cases. So it's 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 really just the beginning of the utility cases for all the different uh, types of cogs that you have or in tubes. And it will play out over the course of the year, that, to the end of the year. So this just for the game, right? So Metaverse has their own access levels as well. Did you see a sports team or sports league doing a special edition cock sets? Well, not sports team per se, but we'll be releasing more information regarding an esports team that we're doing a partnership with uh, iCollect Cogs. And they have a special edition as well. But uh, that's more for the esports campaign that we're doing. Uh, we'll release more news regarding the utility cases, Harry, when um, we have play to earn and tournaments coming up. So in terms of what COGS gives special access to the vault, who's in charge of announcing that info, RFOX Games or RFOX Labs? Well, we propose the access levels in vault, or these are all the people that <coughs> have tubes or COGS, and we plan it up um, for vault to see. So certain areas require, let's say, a common tube for entry or participation. Some areas require a... Uh, 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 ultra rare tube so it differs from area to area Kalinova might have a certain preference for certain places where you have to come in with a common and above sorry uh, uncommon and above some places you can go in with a common tube am i able to put beta footage of slam on youtube at the moment uh we don't have an mda uh metaverse explorer I believe right now it's it's uh it, it's not alpha built so it's beta, closed beta, and then we're getting closer to open beta. So if you don't mind and if you want to share footage, can you reach out to Chino or one of our uh, staff members like James or Meng, and then uh, let us take a look at what you're sharing, and we might be able to even help out more to make it polished. We would definitely try to help uh, content creators. Just asking, I appreciate sure the community. So I'll, I'll be clear, madam, it's, it's we are the one proposing to Benny and team on what the utility cases will be in the metaverse, but ultimately, um, 
I would say, if I say that, okay, for this event, it requires a red tube, then the guys from labs will execute it that way, right? It's just that there's too many utility cases. Uh, it's case by case. It's not as though I decide, okay, common tube, you, uh, you can only go in everywhere like this. So it might, it might be case by case, event by event. Well, a better question to try and determine the value might be more on the lines of what type of rewards are we looking at for the four different level uh, tournaments? You know, what is uh, an example of a possible reward for, you know, being a high place person in a common tournament, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare? So, so let's say you go into the one, one of the utility cases that we are rolling out in terms of tournaments is that you'll be required to pay a certain amount of coins slash rfox to enter the tournament so let's say for example 10 rfox to enter the common tournament and you must have a common tube you go in for example and then basically let's say there's fifty thousand or sixty thousand players uh who participated and paid 10 rfox each so they becomes a pool and then it, the pool is shared towards the top 10 players in the league and then everybody else gets consolation prizes up to a certain amount based on rank. So that is one scenario that will play out for both common all the way up to ultra rare uh, tubes. And then there'll be some tournaments which are sponsor based and that price will definitely be um, uh, a, a, a special edition that you cannot buy for COGS and our Fox as well. So there is there is a potential for you to put make quite a bit of R Fox because your the price pool is taken out uh from the total amount of people who actually uh paid entry fees into the tournament for a chance to get into the top ten. Since these matches take literally you know, a minute, two minutes, <clears throat> would there be a Variation, say some single elimination, some round robins to get to like a you know champions bracket to to uh, yeah we, we 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 will work out the mechanics for to 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 facilitate a player base that's worldwide. Uh, but there will be some tournaments which are catered to certain events or promos that we're doing, which is limited period. So. Uh, gameplay wise, we'll clarify what is the gameplay going to be like, what is the bracket system, what is the ranking system, what is the point system. Uh, but uh, the important thing to note is that when you're looking at tournament systems that require you to pay a certain amount of RFOX to enter and it goes into a pool, uh, potentially people who can afford to enter the ultra rare tournament bracket and pay the higher uh, RFOX um, entry fee are potentially sharing from a larger pool with less people. So as you go up the different tiers and requirements, the pool becomes bigger and the prizes become more exclusive. Uh, tournament and arena prizes are a mix of uh, RFOX, um, uh, in-game cogs and lim and special edition cogs that are related that are only available in the game itself, right? So for people who basically want to collect those cogs and you don't play the game and you have to buy them from the secondary market, if you place high enough to be able to be awarded one of the cogs from that uh, tournament or arena. Is there uh, more or yet to be announced available on the um, non-tournament side of the game, uh, like just playing bosses, or is there, is there going to be more to that side than just bosses? We'll, we'll flesh it out, but then the, the, the bosses is actually uh, part of the daily quest uh, system, which is catering to the PV. PvE people, right? So the, the game has PvE and PvP at the same time. PvP are the arenas and the tournaments. Uh, PvE is for you to do your daily quests and basically, you know, uh, complete, let's say you have to beat three bosses as part of your daily quest to earn like 100 coins. Then you have to do that. Uh, there is, there is a, 
limitation to how much rewards you can get on a daily basis. But the first rollout of Play to Earn, we will see the formula in place. And then you, after the first day, you'll know how it works out. And then you'll see how much you can convert the, those coins into RFOX. And then uh, people will make their own calculations of what is the best uh, way to grind and uh, do Play to Earn for as little money up front as possible. But technically, we are catering to a market where they don't pay a single cent. They come in, they start to play. And then they start to grind, and then they, they collect their, their, their tubes, and then they participate in the arenas and tournaments. And then that unlocks a higher reward for them, which we, we believe is more sustainable than just making PVE uh, a constant grind because that just promotes a lot of botting. Let me read, uh, how much time are you planning on having between editions going forward? I feel like new players would be drawn to buy in the latest, which will kill the action of previous editions. Is the market going to get flooded cox eventually? Which I not mentioned just now, Rasha, um, flooding, the perception of flooding is based on the small community we have right now, right? So if you say it's flooded, then it's relative to 10,000 people. But when you have 100,000 people, half a million people, then it's scarce. So uh, once acquisition opens up, then not just third edition cocks will be um, uh, scarce. I think all the editions will be scarce as well because we don't sell the the editions anymore. It's a finite number. So people might be buying packs to save it for people coming in in between editions or in between special editions. But yeah, I don't foresee it being flooded with cogs because we haven't even opened the floodgates for acquisition yet. MG tubes. I don't understand this uh, question. Uh, comment on possibility buying empty tubes, which are obviously open and can't possibly be confused as a tube of wax. Update the price will stay. Update if the price will stay as this 25 wax. Pete, can you explain for me? I'm sorry, I'm not. Which question is this again? So Urban Gecko asks, any comment on possi the possibility of buying empty tubes, which are no, obviously there, open? No, there is no, there is no, there is, um, there is no concept of um, empty tubes. A tube either contains the set stated on a tube or it doesn't exist. That's the first part. Um, the, as of when the price stays 25 wax or not, uh, we still need to discuss. I, I just realized that there was two parts of the question. So the um, first part of the question, um, buying empty tubes, there is no such thing as an empty tube. So uh, a, a tube is just a representation of a set. Uh, you cannot have an empty tube. Like in the real world, you can because the tube is always empty when you dump out the cogs. But in this, the, the tube is just a representation of that you own a set in your inventory. So if you don't have the tube, then you just get the cogs. Does that answer that? Gecko? Um, yeah. Okay. For... So you see? No, no, Gecko just said thanks for clarifying. Yes. Yep. And then updates on play for kids or wagering. That's after tournament. But I think during tournament itself, the, the, the feature will already be tested, Chris. Uh, will there be specific tournaments where you'll be able to enter only or rent a first edition? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, we will explore uh access and utility cases for all the tubes so some will be exclusive some will be in general um it, it's, it's really up to us for us to make the um uh experience funds for people who are og collectors as well right so it could be a tournament exclusively for first edition people the ogs uh and then it may be something which is only uh uh what do you call that accessible with people with like a uh, ultra rare tube uh from uh second edition for example so it it, it will mix and match 
and the prices definitely will be different for for category to category. Are there any regulations as far as prizes? Uh, are they all digital, uh, whether they're COGS or uh, RFOX, or can there be sponsored, say, hey, Oculus wants to donate a VR system or something for the grand prize winner? We we don't we don't we don't we don't have discussions with sponsors for physical prizes yet, but that's something the internal team can do. Like we we don't need to wait for sponsors for that. I mean, definitely the metaverse uh, experience is a lot better with the VR headset. We we'll definitely have a chat with the guys from Labs to do a cross cross promo across the all the RFOX holders for getting those kind of things. But down to the game itself, I think yeah, we definitely can do physical prizes as long as it's limited. get those boxers yes yeah yeah definitely i mean the 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 number of people who are already talking to uh labs uh for the shop placements and all this kind of stuff all these are potential sponsors within the game because i'm sure they would love to expose themselves to hundreds and thousands of gamers with their brand and uh potentially physical product as well Regards entry fee to the arena called Sabia, yeah. yeah. Uh, in regards to the R Fox entry fee to the arena or tournaments, will there be some sort of cog slam oracle that will be in place to automatically adjust the R Fox entry fee based on how the price of R Fox token is on any given day? Yes, that's already been looked at. Crypto. So we, we want to make sure that the price is uh, is standardized across all the different uh, types of tournaments based on the, the movement of uh, RFOX price. Seems to be an increase in hacks at the moment in NFT game space with the expected rise in users and attention to the P2E. Can you please advise what security controls have been in place to mitigate bad actors? Well, there will always be bad actors around. Uh, we, we, we make sure we are reactive to those problems. But it's a teething stage right now for the company where we are setting up an account system as well as doing play to earn. So we are on high alert to make sure that at least if there's any issue during the testing or people feedback on some potential uh, exploits, then we'll be able to react very quickly. But it's a very simple mechanism. The game isn't um, uh, too complex uh, in terms of uh, finding different ways to game it. It is, it is intended to be very casual and supposed to promote uh, people using NFTs uh, to earn money and play against other people. Any case for Miss Philippines NFTs in games? Uh, not yet. We are going to go into uh, uh, discussions with Miss Universe, but after the guys from Labs uh, settle everything down. Are we going to have shop or some special place involved only Cox related? Yep, our Fox Games will have its own uh, presence in the uh, involved. So there's a few exclusive things that you can do or exclusive sales events that you can participate in uh, to get in. So imagine if you want to buy this Cox set, special edition and stuff like that, there might be access level requirements as well. So like it's buying a pair of Yeezys and only one person in the line. Well, Chauncey, there's already tubes being rolled out next week. So I guess uh, staking news is coming up next. Will Cox do a airdrop? No, we don't do airdrops. Uh, a Fox team hoverboard for <laughs> vault, yeah. Actually, was telling Ben today, why don't we make the slammers, uh, like the really ultra rare slammers, uh, boards as well? And yeah, are we going to have shop or some special place involves only Cox related? Uh, what OMC says, right? There will be vending machines in the vault where you basically can buy 
cooks randomly and there might be vending machines related to some quarters that are exclusive so you all have to go there to buy it. utility for rsl 2020 same uh, answer as before once it's closer to arena or metaverse you'll get uh more news regarding it i mean don't worry about utility cases and uh access levels all this is being planned out already um i think like i said i don't foresee uh uh a glut in supply for cogs uh within the next few months it's 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 gonna be uh people will be will be spot will not be spot for choice in terms of getting uh tubes to enter tournaments Any partnerships or work with Immutable X? I have had discussions uh, about it, but I'm, I'm not involved in them. XP, you're going to have to find out with um, uh, Ben. Utility for Kogu. You know what? I've, I've not come across Kogu yet, madam. I, I, I don't know what, what universe he, 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 he lives in, but uh, I believe it, we, we've already integrated with OpenSea, right, uh, Pete? Sorry, yeah. Sorry? No, I, I mean, the, the game is not, but uh, the um, we're linking up the NFT marketplace and the vault. Yeah. Any reason to own Kagu's, Pete? Right now. Again, what? Kogu? Any reason to own Kagu's? Owning a Kagu is its own reward. I mean, what, what kind of question is that? <laughs> I mean, if, if, if there's no reason, then send it to me. You know my address. Just send it to me. Any in interoperability with other games planned yet? Yep, we already have a second game being planned. So, uh, concurrently, we are just making sure that the infrastructure for free pay to earn is all housed within the same cluster. So, this is the genesis of, well, maybe not genesis, the first time that server is going to be set up for people who, who are fresh. So the server basically takes down um, your account details, your uh, wallet, as well as your stats, and then it will be movable to the next game that we release. Outside of our Fox system, yeah, we talked about it with some potential partners in the game development world, but I think I want to get uh cogs slam ironed out clean and then the second game release together with a very clean case for interoperability and then it's easier sell to potential partners coming in i think there's a lot of potential partners we can work with because uh a lot of our staff are from the gaming industry so we don't we we don't want to limit ourselves to what kind of partnerships we want to but we want to get it right internally first Pete's kids are getting rowdy. So we are going to have similar structure like credit score. The more we are involved between more games, better for us. Well, I wouldn't say it's a credit score. It's more like your stats, right? So um, the thing is, when you, you are a veteran with a lot of tubes and stuff like that, those tubes have a different function in those games, right? So for all you know, if you got an exclusive set that you want from a tournament and stuff like that, it, it is it is going to be... Uh, not only valuable in the current game you're playing, but in the next game you're playing, you know, you could be insane and the price just fluctuates based on the utility cases from game to game. Hanford put up his uh, foil swamp rainbow for sale uh what do you think who are you asking is me crazy yeah is he crazy well i don't know what his agenda is maybe he's talking up for for wax
All right. So um, if you guys have no other questions, we're going to go to, down to the Friday fight night room and then uh, begin the 10, 10 matches with Pete. See you guys there. But, uh, doesn't Malaysia have something with the child labor laws? <laughs> nope. No such thing. Slam <laughs> man. Yeah, Slam man. Slam one man. Ooh. Okay, we don't get the one to get the one to get the one to get the Okay. Um, yes. Slams are getting killer. Are you actually able to see what the highest uh, single game and single? Yeah, we'll be digging through the stats next week. Uh, but you should be able to track your stats already in your profile. That was a whirlwind power slam, man. So much. <laughs> Oh, draw. Oh, what? <laughs> draw. Uh, Chino, are you taking screenshots or do I need to screenshot this? I'm taking screenshots, but just in case. Okay, I don't have to screenshot, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, you gotta this fire one. that kid, Pete. Get another one. You don't want to screenshot that anyway. <laughs> Crypto Matrix. Crypto Matrix. Uh, Pete, how do I make the bot play music? Oh, um, you cannot. You have to kick everybody out from the Friday with fans first. Uh, no. Why? Uh, you can only have like one channel active. Now Friday for Feds is active. There's 13 people listening in there. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, there's there's the bot. The Mi 6 bot is in the channel, but it's not playing any music. Yeah, correct. So you got to kick out everybody from Friday for Feds. So you jump on Friday for Feds, kick out everybody, or move them into this, this, uh, this one. Okay. Takes uh, Pete two slams to get what Hanford does in one. Yeah, I have not been playing this game at all. I've been spending most of my time on my VR headset. So compared to the the the, the old one, that one I spend like all my time in the world on that. All right, everybody's out. Oh, oh, oh. oh, good game. <clears throat> nice one, nice one. Yeah, it's a shame Hanford and I are sitting out to crush Pete this week. Ronald McDonald. If I Ryan McDonald. I had to wait until this week before I even tried. <laughs> Can uh, version 9.1 play against 9.2? Uh, technic I think it's supposed to work uh, uh, based across some some versions of the game, but I think to get the best out of the feature set, you should have the latest version. Uh, should be no, yeah. What's the latest version currently on the store? 9.2. 9.2. Oh, okay. So 9.4 is not the correct one? <laughs> this is, you this don't is have 
is version one already. Yeah. He just he just decided to start slaughtering people. I think he, he was training today. That's why it's very hard to get meetings with him. No, so I was not. I was in meeting with myself. Like, so like he's busy, constantly busy. Yeah, so you know he was. yeah, yeah, yeah. The been, whole day I was in meeting. Me, just message a thief. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 bother me. Do not disturb. Good game, oh, Ryan. Oh, good game. I'm just randomly slamming. I got no idea what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> That is a uh, <laughs> very uh, distinct humble brag. Ooh, Atish. Oh, this one, Atish is gonna whoop me. Too fast, Atish. Hey, congrats, Satish. I, I don't know how I won. Because <laughs> Pete, Pete's awful. And because you got one more. <laughs> yeah, Tash, usually Mr. Pirate. when you have more...
Fuck one up. Oh, nice one, Yasin. Congrats, Yasin. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been the, trying to get the flash <laughs> in here. She's gonna crush oh, this, you. This, this doesn't count, right? Let's destroy him. Just destroy him. Gentlemen. No. <laughs> oh. He's got a ten tornado spin going on. You saw that? Trying to cast a Petronas onto the cogs. It's not like Pokemon Go where you spin the spin the Pokeball. Insider slamming, yeah. Make a t shirt out of that. <coughs> you need sand. Oh, man, you won. <laughs> Nice. That's me. Oh, crushed you. Oh, you screenshot that flex. She was not gentle. She was eager to represent Metaverse Explorer. Nice. Is he streaming live on his on his YouTube? Girl, Leon, take, him down. take him down, Leon. Wreck. She saw is it very it's you know he's summoning something for sure, man. That cog is going in, in a spiral shape. It's like a Christmas Dang. information, yeah. Christmas. Christmas. I'm he's a Patronus. <laughs> She's Patronus is uh is a pineapple. That's uh that's sad. Pete, why why is so much uh <laughs> spam? I think Metaverse is going to have his stream accidentally cut. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, Metaverse can do it. Oh, nice! All right, all right. Let's put the Patronum! Yeah. It sucks. How much do you need, man? 15? 15. Do it! You can do it! Oh, oh, that, that looks a little... oh, yeah, I think, no, almost there. Not bad, Metaverse. Good game, good Metaverse. Job. Good game, good game. Jito J! Oh, that's it. I'm gonna whoop. Come on, come on, Jay. Yeah, represent those brand is, ambassadors. <laughs> is Jay representing all of you guys? Yep. Well, we know Hanford and I can beat Only you. Only if he wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. His ambassadorship's on the line. <laughs> Oh, dang. You suck, Crypto J. Yeah, we're going to have to denounce you, uh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs>
Your probationary <laughs> period is is in jeopardy. <laughs> Play some more retro songs. Oh my goodness! Play Slam Bionics. Was it Slam Galactic? Bionics. Oh, yeah. thirty nine. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Oh! Uh, how about that? It's a tie between Yazin and FMH. That's the tenth game. Uh, no, one more, one more. Um, because uh, Meng is not included. Okay. <laughs> Hilo. The, the W against P still counts. The W against P? Yeah, yeah. Let's skip the song, though. You know, you're tracking the wins and loss, right? What, 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 what's my record right now? <laughs> Five and four. Right. Again? Again? Do, you, do I have like eight losses or something? Like that? Is this a song? Uh, yeah, that's it. Boys, slam. Oh, Kilo. Yes, the last game, yep. Okay. Who are the winners? Who won? FMH. I got it. Both of them won? I think he had the highest win. Uh, I can't hear you. Who, who, who is that? Who is talking? FMH and Yasmin. I can't hear oh, Chino. I'm, it seems yeah, like I can't very... hear Chino. Oh. Chino, can you type in general chat who the winners are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. It's FMH and Jasin. But okay. I'll type it. Both of them get a pack. Congrats, guys. Congrats, guys.
Uh, make sure Chino gets your wax wallet addresses. All right. So next week is me, right? I'll be going up against the community next week. Is that right, Chino? Yep. All right. Should be you now. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining us for another Friday Fights and Fight Night. Um, if you guys are not in the beta yet, just uh, hang on. We'll be adding, like I said, another 500 people next week. So more people will be joining and then more people will be able to go against each other uh, as, you, as we head towards open beta. Have a good weekend, guys. Take care. Uh, stay safe. Take care, fans. Take care, guys. Bye.